In this movie we're going to have a look at creating new types of composite structures. In ARCHICAD 12, composite structures can include core elements, non-core elements and finish elements. Let's start by going to Options, Element Attributes, Composites and we're just going to pick anything and we're going to duplicate that and I'm just going to call this 90 plus 75 styrofoam. Basically what we're trying to do is create a structural element of 90 millimeters and this can be stud work and a 10 millimeter thick plasterboard on the inside and 75 millimeters of styrofoam cladding on the outside and 20 millimeters of render. To start with I'm just going to use this core element of stud work which is 90 at the moment. I'm going to change the color of that to say 78. Add another skin internally 10 millimeters thick. I'm going to use the fill as plaster and maybe use a light grey colour for it. I can insert another skin there. This can be the styrofoam. This can be 75 millimetres. And that can be a green as a preview colour. Add another skin and this can be 20 millimetres and just a render. Again this can be light grey once again. Now in ARCHICAD 12, each one of the elements of the wall or the composite can be defined as a core element and this existed previously in early versions of ARCHICAD. So in our case render would not be a core element, styrofoam cladding would not be a core element, neither would the plaster. So only the stud work is a core element. The moment you turn on the core element tick box for a particular layer of the wall like the styrofoam here, if it's a non-core element it means both of the boxes would be unticked however if it was a finish this box would be ticked so in our case the render is a finish so we're going to check that and then the plaster would also be a finish. Those settings also appear down the bottom here. Obviously we could set up the wall priorities here as well but it's not something we're looking at at the moment. So we have a 90 millimeter stud work layer with 75 millimeter styrofoam cladding, 20 mil render and internally we have 10 millimeters of plaster. Now we're just going to open this. I already had a slab prepared here but I just wanted to show you something that's going to happen with this wall. I'm going to pick that newly created 90 by 75 wall and now if I draw a straight segment of this wall it'll draw the wall by the outside of the composite which means that it's actually between the two mouse clicks it's drawing it as defined by the outer skin of the render finish which isn't ideal at all so if I was to trace this slab with the wall and I set the height correctly to say 3 meters it's obviously going to produce the incorrect result so I'm just going to quickly click around here so I can have a quick look and I'm going to jump and I'm going to jump to the section and this is what's happening here the wall is sitting entirely on top of the slab. If you wanted to position the wall so the stud work sits on the edge of the slab we would have to do is a bit of fancy footwork 
and I guess the easiest way would be to use the offset tool and simply trace the slab and then offset it by whatever we need to in our case it would be 75 millimeters from the styrofoam and 20 for the render which is 95 millimeters so what we're going to do in the wall tool let's have a look at the settings make sure they're all correct I start the offset tool hold the space bar click to the edge of the slab and then offset it out by 95 millimeters so now if we jump to the section view you can see that our stud work is finishing on the edge of the slab and the cladding plus the mortar and the render rather are overhanging the slab back on the floor plan we can now use the new quick option setting available in ArchiCAD 12 and I'll just bring them up here so we can see them over here which is entire structure controls how a composite structure is shown in the drawing when it's set to entire structure you can see all the layers of the composite if I select just core only we'll see only the core obviously um, which is the stud work if I set it without finishes it will show us the stud work plus the star of plus the styrofoam or in other words the non-core element in this case which is the insulation now each one of those settings is saved per view in ArchiCAD so if I open show organizer and set it so that we have views showing entire structure and drag that over there we can make a view here and call it ES for short and if we set it to core only I can drag that over and change that to core save without finishes drag that over and that can be without finishes just there now if we use those views you can see that this is going to show me the entire structure ground floor entire structure this one's going to be core only and without finishes is a final view so that's pretty handy for outputting different types of information to different consultants and obviously exactly the same thing happens in the section view where I can using the quick options change to core only and without finishes what we can see here is that where the wall is actually placed on is not a hundred percent correct the insulation should actually be going down a little bit to cover the edge of the slab and we're going to deal with that in the next section of this movie let's have a look at dimensioning this multi-layered wall first of all I'm going to open up the dimension tool and set the options here I want to dimension the entire thickness of the wall not just the core of the composite of the wall if I run the automatic dimensioning and push OK there if I click on the wall it will dimension is going the dimension tool is going to show the thickness of the entire wall including the finishes now if I switch the view to without finishes that dimensioning because it is associated to the finishes will disappear and now if I redimension the wall you can see that the dimension now it doesn't take into consideration the finishes so it's just got the core and the non-core elements now once again if I switch it to core only 
those dimensions disappear once again. And now I could dimension this wall and it's only going to give me the core elements. And once again, if you save each one of these views, you'll have the dimensions that are required for a particular view. Displaying those walls by core or without finishes works also in the 3D views. Now at the moment we can see that the entire structure is showing. Now this model is rendered in ARCHICAD's internal rendering engine which means we can see all the vectorial hatching and we can see the entire structure and that hatching is the hatching for the render material. Now if I change it to core only we can see that the hatching disappears and now it's just the internal stud work which is the core and there's no hatching associated with that. And then without finishes, again, there's no hatching, but the wall's a little bit thicker because you've got your 90 mil plus your 75, but the finish is missing. So once again, I'm gonna switch it back to entire structure and you can see the hatching.